As gay people, we get to choose our families. Because sometimes, the families we grew up with don't understand us. So when I recently reached out with an invitation to your moms and sisters, I'm sorry to say that not one of them accepted my invitation. They all did. <laughs> For your main challenge, you'll transform these silver daddies into your drag mamas. And ladies, I expect to see a definite family resemblance. Come on, that's one, oh, wait. two. In early gay liberation, I did what we called skag drag, gender <laughs> You know, where we like wear combat boots and frilly dresses. I see a fierce diva in my drag mother. So I think that Tatiana did a good job pairing me up. Thank you, Tatiana. This is like 3 quarters of an inch taller. And that's just enough to send me into the orthopedic ward. Mm. You know what I'm saying, yes. darling? Yes. So Michael um, does have a limp. Oh, Jesus. I think some of the other girls might think I made a bad decision choosing Michael because of his leg. Miss Tatiana got one. You can't walk on you. Uh-huh. But um, who cares? Ouch. No way. Really? This is going to take some work. We both have a similar idea of what we want to do. Michael was definitely telling me about how he used to work at a disco, so he really felt a connection to the music. And have you ever put on pantyhose before? No. Can you do a running back handspring? <laughs> so we get out onto the main stage for our 20 minutes of rehearsal. My drag mom has a bad eye, so I can see her standing there and kind of like looking like where are you as I walk out there? And I know that the lights are gonna be even brighter. So I'm like, this bitch is not gonna be able to see what she's doing. Try walking by yourself. You're so dainty about it. <laughs> Stop. Put your hand on your hip and then turn. Turn. Where's All the way around. Okay. And then walk back. She needs direction. Like, she needs you to say, this is where we're going. This is when we're walking. This is what we're doing. Turn. Walk toward each other. Is that too much for you? Oh, no, it's OK. OK, so go to that corner over there. So I'm hoping she doesn't fall or break something. Pretty easy, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is a lot to learn. This is Raven and her drag mother, Golda LeMay. She's totally freaked out about walking. I would just was very nervous that she was going to fall. I mean, she doesn't walk in heels, but she's sparkling, that she's Loving it. Mamma mia. A cougar and her cub. Raven, let's start with you. This is Ms. Golda LeMay. Let's take a look at your drag mother before. Ooh. Wow. We used a dark brown eyeshadow. We didn't want to use pencil because it looks a little harsh. I could see that you're wearing the exact same makeup. I am. You guys coordinate without matching too much, and it works for both body types. Your lip sync was very, very good, too, which I noticed right away, because in films, that's what we always did. It's not easy to lip sync. I've never seen anybody quite dance like the mother. You won't give Ginger Rogers any contests in <laughs> Raven, is there anything you want to say? Thank you for this experience and for allowing me to work with Steven. I respect. Steven so much because he did a lot as far as the gay rights liberation. I thank you. Thank you. It's because of people like Steven that we are able to do this show. Tatiana. This is Annalisha. Oh. Wow. We actually use a little bit of like a red lipstick to counteract the beard color. I used the pink blush on the apples of the cheek just to give a little flush. I would have used a brighter color lips. Older ladies do not wear dark brown lips unless they're Judy Davis. I thought your lip sync was very good. The walker killed me. I loved it a lot. Your facial expression, too. I loved it. I thought it added to the whole performance. You were really funny. Thank you. Raven, for giving the most dramatic makeover, and literally carrying go to LeMay, proving that she ain't heavy, she's your mama. Raven, congratulations. You're the winner of this week's challenge. Thank you. Hello, hello, hello! Oh,
Now, in the past, I've challenged my queens to do some pretty special makeovers. Gay veterans, Stonewall heroes, and little women, just to name a few. But this season promises to be the most extra special one of all. And we don't have to look any further than just behind the camera. <gasps> For this week's Maxi Challenge, you'll be giving our beloved crew members the chance to strut a mile in your shoes. I like a strong and powerful woman, so I'm going with Duncan. <laughs> I feel like Duncan's so serious when he's being R.A.D., and I want to see his playful side. Who do you choose for Trinity? Rizzo. <laughs> OK, I'm known for body, okay. so I would like to make a swimsuit for you. How do you feel about tucking? It's going to hurt. But with a swimsuit, it's like, it's very there. You got to pull it back, or I'm going to pull it back for you. With Rizzo, I'm going to crack the whip. I haven't won a challenge in a few weeks, and so I have to work hard and show them that I'm going to go all the way. That's great. You're walking like Pearl now. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you look stoned and very fashionable. <laughs> I was a little scared of Duncan because he's so strict with us. But Duncan is feeling the fantasy. Mm hmm. Oh, my goodness. Look at those little shoes. These are real drag heels. <laughs> oh, yeah, Sarge? Yeah? Mommy's taking you to church for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Working with him, it's amazing how I'm not in my head at all. I haven't had this much fun or felt this relaxed. <laughs> it's like the Little Mermaid. It's the Little Except Mermaid. <laughs> she was a big dude. <laughs> <laughs> See, that was good. That was shade. OK. <laughs> Category is? Let's meet the new Rue crew. First up, Trinity Taylor and Glitter for Days. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cheetah Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh. Glitter for Days looks like a true tailor. This tuck is fierce. I think the store's all out of Aquanet. <laughs> Are we sure this is the first time? <laughs> <laughs> Sasha Velour and Donatella Velour. That hat is on my bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> We're two East Coast sisters in the 1940s looking to make it big in Hollywood. I think these are really, really fashionable looks, and Donatella looks beautiful. No. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Oh. That look really said something. What label horse? <laughs> First up, Trinity Taylor and Glitter for Days. The family resemblance is hard to deny, and you did the most intricate choreography. Yeah, so impressive. I can barely walk in those shoes, let alone, like, dance. Glitter for. Glitter for. If I didn't know better, it looked like you've been doing this for a minute. But beyond, I think, having a great partner, it's about how you communicate and guide. And I think this was probably the tightest presentation. Is that code for tuck? Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> how is your tuck holding up? The pain is real. <laughs> the pain is real. <laughs> now, what do you think you're going to take from this experience? I'm going to take this tape off. Oh. <laughs> up next, Sasha Velour and Donatella Velour. <laughs> this looks so high fashion. Looks like Mew Mew on acid. <laughs> the proportion of the dress and the coat and all these pops of color, I really, really loved it. Now, Donatella, there is something that you're doing. It's strangely turning me on. <laughs> <laughs> I learned it from watching you, dear. <laughs> Trinity Taylor, you gave us glitter for days, months, years. <laughs> Congratulations, you're the winner of this week's challenge. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Racers, you need to take your beautiful mums and sisters and transform them into glamorous, gag-worthy, sickening drag queens. <laughs> the judges will be looking for a strong drag family resemblance. Mums, sisters, are you scared? No, nah. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> You're amazing. <laughs>
<laughs> You've seen my makeup and you're scared. <laughs> Do me in. <laughs> Your arms can be a little more relaxed, you know. Oh, sorry. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a plastic doll. <laughs> right, Trina, let's show them how it's done. Oh, oh there we go. God. Tack, 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 oh. They seem to have a lot of choreography and stuff like that. Obviously, our mums aren't going to be able to do that, but I think as long as we get that family resemblance spot on, as long as you're on brand with Bagger and you look like part of the Bagger family and you look part of my family, yeah. we've got it. Don't let that put you off. Although on the outside this doesn't look like the hardest challenge, this is definitely the most emotionally hard, just because my head's everywhere, I'm trying to make my mum feel good, and I can see the other girls doing full-out choreography. My mum can't do that. Up next, the Vivian and the mother. What a mother tucker. <laughs> <laughs> me and my mum have hit the runway and her confidence is shining through. She's the rich duchess, I'm the gorgeous daughter. We're going to the Serpentine Ball, getting the rich fellas, I'm getting the wallet and she's getting the man. Dynasties and diamonds. <laughs> As we're walking down the runway, I thought I was going to have to be guiding me mum, but she's smashing it. Go on, mum. <laughs> Upper lands. You earn everything. I think you mean own. Uh oh. <laughs> Up next, Davina DeCampo and Delisha DeCampo. What to expect when you're expecting? Mm. Trotting down the runway, and we're bringing you pure brigals. <laughs> we have got our white dresses, which are stoned all over the see through. We've got our babies, and we've got our big red wigs, which match. Harris is smashing this on the runway. Smashing it up. I think Chucky's had a tucky. <laughs> <laughs> the Vivian, and this is the mother. Gorgeous. It's black magic. You look absolutely wonderful. The hair is a little bit Pekingese, like one of those dogs <laughs> with the parting, but... I feel you really do complement each other. And she's absolutely adorable. I'm fuming. I've been waiting 10 years to get on the show and she rocks through the door. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Davina DeCampo. And this is Delisha DeCampo. I honestly didn't know which one was which. I was like, <laughs> I don't know, like, for real, guys. Yeah, so that is amazing. I loved the kind of theatrical nature of it. Like, suddenly, you just think we have some British vulgar <laughs> I love that, <laughs> better if I can sweat. <laughs> I love the slinky outfit and I love the, the big red hair. You look like two very sexy patio heaters. <laughs> 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 and you could see the bond, you could see how much fun you were having together and it was just so lovely to see. So, before I put my nose in my mouth, as I've done before, I'm assuming you added a little belly to be pregnant like your sister. Please don't tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Stop it. She's really bloated. Stop it. <laughs> I love that Davina did her belly too, because there's nothing more drag than a pregnant drag queen. <laughs> How many months along are you? Just over four. Aww. Just under three. <laughs> <laughs> Different fathers? Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Sick. Davina DeCampo. You turn Sister Delicia into one yummy mummy to be. Congratulations, you are the winner of this week's oh challenge. My Yay! Well done, girl. Oh my god. Thank you so much. I promise I won't be ashy. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Oh, hey. Hey. Ladies. Now, Queens, as gay people, we get to choose our families. Because sometimes, the families we grew up with don't understand us. So when I recently reached out with an invitation to your moms and sisters, I'm sorry to say that not one of them accepted my invitation. They all did. Wow. <laughs> you need to transform your loved one into a member of your royal drag family. <laughs> oh, one more thing. Tomorrow, 
In addition to your drag transformations, each family unit needs to vogue the house oh, down God. in a special performance on the main stage. So, good luck and don't <laughs> it up. Oh, pardon my French. <laughs> okay. hair on the runway. Miss Tabitha, a.k.a. Ava Edwards, is all up in the gig. Ooh, honey, don't mess with Texas. <laughs> up next, detox and drama. Ooh. The sisters are doing it for who? Themselves. We are superhero, badass, glamazon bitches, serving major body, yadi 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 yadi. Detox and her Technicolor Dream Girl. Up next, Katya and Svetlana Borisivna. Yodele hi ho. Emphasis on the ho. Mama. <laughs> I'm giving 70s Soviet Anna Karenina, and she's giving fused bumbling babushka. <laughs> What they're wearing. Would you call that Russian dressing? I think that was it, yeah. First up, Alyssa and Ava Edwards. <laughs> I love the Vogue so much. I felt like it was like a weird, like, birds of death nightmare that I never wanted to end. <laughs> I did think you had too much going on in that ensemble. Alyssa, even for you. But this runway tonight is everything that I love about Alyssa Edwards. I have to agree. And you look so fantastic. Thank you. Um, I think you nailed the challenge perfectly because you look like sisters. Thank you so much. Up next, Detox and D-Rama. <laughs> I thought that you two had the most cohesive performance of the night. If this was a lip sync, I'm not quite sure which one of you would be winning. You were that good. <laughs> I love all of this. I love the origami fascinators. It's like Donatella Versace for the Hunger Games. <laughs> <laughs> and the strongest family resemblance. I mean, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I'm just super proud of the thought and the work you put in tonight. Up next, Katya and Svetlana Barisvitna. How'd I do with the name? Terribly. Yeah. Say it for me. Borisovna. And this is Svetlana Borisovna. <laughs> <laughs> I think the voguing thing was not high up on the scale of things I love to do in life for Katya. Yeah. <laughs> but then um, you came out here with this storyline, and I was like, yes. <laughs> it just completely flipped the switch for me. It felt so Katya. You're giving us this like vintage Missoni kind of look. It's something that they would wear in Real Housewives of Minsk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> really one of the highlights of the evening. I will say, sidebar, your mother completely stole the show. Yes. <laughs> You're acting. I mean, you deserve a Tony Award for that. Thank you. Detox. Katya. Congratulations. You are the two top all stars of the week. Do you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel. And you will get all the episodes of everything you ever want, including brand new episodes of Whatcha Packin'. Hi.